Okay, thank you, Billy. The stats there, thanks to Harris Scarf and Pulse. And we can tell you, North Melbourne has gone inside their 50 18 times, Adelaide 8. There's the siren to start the second quarter here at the G. The bounce down favours Big Ren trying to take the football, but Melbourne taken by Corey McKernan up towards full full. That's not what you want it off hands. It'll go through for a minor score. It does. So North Melbourne get another minor score on the board. They go to 4 5 29, Adelaide 3 2 20. The opening second to the second term of the 1998 AFL Grand Final. Benny Hart. A terrific first quarter by Benny Hart. And, and Gee, just Mark how oh, yeah, terrific, yeah. terrific captain's game uh, by uh, Mark Bickley, Bickley so far. But how valuable is McKernan and how athletic and quick he can play four or five different positions. Hart goes to James Tyson in the back pocket, bangs it back towards the centre wing. Ellen is there with him, is smart. Ellen over the top, trying to take the mark. Goodwin couldn't take the football. Spills out to Tyson Edwards. In fact, it's Costa. Head down, backside up. Got a high one. Gets out to Smart. Smart has the presence of mind to uh, the, fake the kick, then go back the second time. Big Ren is there. Can't take the mark. What was the left foot kick up towards that a half foot? Robin a chance. Here's McLeod coming in with him as James. James tries to crash the back, gets the handball, cross for a chance, goes back towards Tyson Edwards. This way, that way, will go out oh. wide. The kick is coming. He waited too long. Costa spills out of the case mm. to Robin. Oh, where's that lost the football? Opportunity for Grant now. Up towards uh, Pike and Pike is taking the mark. That's a bad turnover for Adelaide. That's a huge oh, momentum the smother, swing smother, there. The smother of Byron Cricket when uh, Tyson yep. Edwards had the ball. Just mm. absolutely stopped Adelaide dead. They had the players running forward. Ties there were just holding on to it a fraction long. Yep. And allowing Pickett with his desperation to throw his head on the ball. Pike now will kick from about uh, 45 metres on a 45 degree angle. Going towards the scoreboard end. Kicks from 48 metres. It's got the distance, has it? Has it got the accuracy? I think it has. The goal umpire comes inside, so North Melbourne. They got a 5 5 35. Adelaide 3 2 20. Uh, a 15 point ball game on the Foodland scoreboard. Graham Court. Well, if desperation. 1% um, is when important games of football. That was the classic example. Yep. Byron Pickett, he's been desperate all day. And Tyson Edwards had the ball under control. He went to kick it. And Pickett just threw himself at it. And the rebound came. And Pike had been able to run away from Nigel Smart. Easy mark, easy goal. It could hurt, be a defining hurt himself, moment. Hurt himself too, uh, young Pickett, but that won't stop him. Uh, he's running on adrenaline at the moment, and what a super individual effort. Mark that down two minutes into the second term. Could be a defining moment of the game. Pickett's mother. Back in the centre now. Goodwin couldn't take it. Jarman went in hard. Tried to get a kick clear, but it's a free kick to North Melbourne. What for? I don't know. It's going to Bill. Bill feeds it off to Blakey. Jarman in pursuit. Blakey up towards half forward, and another mark's taken, so they're running hard. It's Harvey. Worry. Harvey about 52 metres out from goal. Alarm bell should be starting to ring out right there. Now, yep. They've had most of the play so far. They kick it up towards full forward. Out they oh. come on. Pushing him out was Kerry. Kerry just uh, physically manhandled the player. Goes in again. Tries to break a tackle. Tries to break two tackles. The umpire says, give it to me. You bounce it down 20 metres out from the Kangaroos goal. Yeah, the momentum has really swung uh, with North Melbourne. That uh, smother there, that individual effort has really uh, swung the momentum around. And when you get a chance with Wayne Kerry there, that's when you have to really put him down hard. The Crows players didn't put him down hard enough there uh, in that tackle contest. 5AA football, thanks to Adelaide's oh, Channel 7. Gosh. It ends up with Jam and his hands with a good one just dropped perhaps what he should have taken they converge from everywhere Bickley has led from the front and quite content to take the ball over and out Gee, David, David I just hope that the Crows haven't gone into that quarter time huddle satisfied with their first quarter and it just appears that North Melbourne have come out more alert and more hungry the Crows look as if they've just been satisfied with their terrific effort in the first quarter the margin 15 points Wren double fist at Grant tried to break his way through a tackle couldn't do so Shannon Grant another ball up this time about 25 metres out from the Kangaroos goal. Rashudo's off the ball far too long here. He should be up around the ball now. And Vardy can't get into it either. No. Bounce down in the forward pocket for North Melbourne. 5-5-35, five, five, Adelaide 3-2-20. On the Foodland scoreboard, ready with a big thump. Goes towards the outer side, Bell with a handball. A chance now for King. Can he pick it up? He does. Comes with a searching handball. Finds McKernan. McKernan, oh gee whiz. Into the open space. It's in a half forward. Big Randy Good this hand. way, that way. Comes back. Opportunity now for the Darren Jarman. Puts it back towards the centre of the ground. In front was Martin. Robin with him as well. Aerial ping pong taken by Scott. Tackled. Gets it out to Pickett. Pickett now puts North Melbourne back towards centre half forward. Randy goes back. Oh, he's crashed the pack. A chance now oh, for Kerry around his body. Up towards the Smart. Push the ball in front of him. It 
Grant with an opportunity in the pocket for North Melbourne. Goes for the banana kick and he's missed. Oh. He has missed. It looked good off the boot, but he has missed. North Melbourne 5 6, 36, doing all the attacking against the Crows. 3 2, 20. This is 5 double eight footy. Yeah, terrific effort by Carey there. And good players when they fly for the ball, they land and don't lose their footing. And that was the key to that uh, passage of play. Carey keeping his feet. Costa off and Connell on. Jarman kicks it out wide to Hart, who had a scintillating first quarter. Adelaide just need to try and string a couple of goals together. North Melbourne at the moment have the answers. They go to the far side. Robin can't get into it. And chipping in and taking the good mark there with Stevens. A high up and under kick towards centre half forward McKernan. He flew like a bird, but he got nowhere near the footy. Well, player up into there was uh, Tyson Edwards. Oh, Desperate stuff ball. at centre half forward. It is holding the ball. Good tackle. tackle. He'll go to the way of the Crows and Ellen will take it. So Shane Ellen at centre half back. Got to get more out of centre half forward, Wilds. Yeah, Matthew Robin. Robin stepped so far, Billy. One kick. In. Oh, thanks, Billy Hodges here. Thanks to Harris Scarf and Pulse. Meanwhile, the ball gets transferred back towards centre wing. Off the ground went Tyson. McLeod goes after it. Might sit for Andrew McLeod, and it does. He's 52 out from goal. Up oh, towards 44. Free kick, Adelaide. It is a free kick, Adelaide. Free free kick, free. Adelaide. Free. Free. Adelaide. And they'll take it 20 metres out from goal, oh, and it's David going to go the way of David Pittman. Graham, yeah. why didn't McIntyre kick the right. goal? Breeze behind, Breeze behind him, crossing 50. The uh, golden rule should always be go, go for goal. But he saw the lead of Pittman, which is what good forwards must do, present themselves. The kick wasn't bad, but uh, McCartney infringed, fortunately for Adelaide. And David Pittman, not a renowned goal kicker. Oh, he's In kicked fact, a few. He's kicked a few. He's, he's kicked four, kicked four, this four goals this year. Yeah, so David a... Pittman, 25 metres out. The Crows need this to steady on. Oh, not a bad he's kick. Kicked he's kicked it. it. Well done, Pitto, and well done, McLeod. Even though McLeod didn't kick the goal, Adelaide have a goal on the board. The Foodland scoreboard, North Melbourne 5 6 36. Adelaide coming back hard 4 2 26, a margin 10 points. Yeah, well, McLeod was running over the 50 metre line there, and good players make uh, quick decisions. And his decision was player in a better position. I'm not quite sure whether I can kick the goal. I've got pressure from behind, so he passed it off. Pittman infringed and then uh, put it through uh, for a class goal. McLeod now into the middle, back in the middle, a bounce down 4 2 26. The Crows, North Melbourne, 5 6 36, a margin of 10 points on the Food Lab scoreboard. 5 A footy, the 98 AFL Grand Final. The bounce down, McKernan, and also Wren. They sit down with the football, body's been thrown over the footy into a scrub, it goes. And the umpire says, I'm going to have a bounce down. Umpire Darren Goldsmith from WA will put the football down. Abraham uh, down at full forward. Uh, Kane Johnson has, uh, has picked him up, and uh, Carey now instructing him to get down the ground. And uh, Abraham obliges to leave that space behind Carey. Ran and McKernan, they jostle for spots. McKernan only as far as McLeod. McLeod wobbles a kick towards the half forward line. The chase is on. Mickey Mark there, too much pace for Roffin. Has oh, the football. Too much. And his body goes back towards centre wing. Bell, the handball. That's got to be almost delivered out of bounds. No, says the umpire. And the throw in will take uh, place. Centre wing out of sight. Well, you called it too much pace, but he shouldn't have too much pace, KG. No, he just didn't anticipate quick enough, Matthew, there. And Mickey Martin read it earlier and left earlier. Centre wing, Martin and Robin. A chance now, an opportunity for Bickley, comes across the ground, smart, kick. goes awesome. smartly, not a good kick, King has the football, couldn't take the mark, has good recovery this way, that way, back onto the, onto the uh, right leg, back towards Harford, and Roberts takes the mark, kicks around his body, North Melbourne back into attack, up towards Harford, oh, oh, carrying sweet. almost a one-handed mark, taken by Scott, Scott bounds away, the left foot kick, partly smothered, come in Rennie, he does, here's Caven, goes there, carry a chance, kicks towards oh, going Smith, only a Mind to score fair dinkum. <laughs> this is absolutely unbelievable. This game of footy. Oh. North Melbourne 5 7 37 Adelaide 4 2 26. <laughs> Great well, oh well, I, I got no more breath than you have. But <laughs> Adelaide, have to make the change here. Adelaide just not clean enough going forward, and the bounce of the ball is creating all sorts of havoc. It's, it's a hard turf today. The ball's bouncing everywhere. Players not reading it well. Gee, Kerry looks dangerous. A kick in now. Kerry can go again with him is smart, and also Wren. Wren needs to do oh. more. It comes down towards Brett James. Scooped it out to McLeod. He's looking dangerous now. So Andrew McLeod works it up towards half forward. Barty hasn't been able to get into the game. It ends with Archer. And McLeod almost. Shoot. Him up, but North Melbourne have players everywhere. Mark Roberts in the centre of the uh, MCG. Wobbles up towards Ford Ford. McKernan at the back. Can he pick it up? No, he can't. The ball bounced end on end and went through for appointment. It looked like a certain goal to North Melbourne. Yeah, Rennie's making the position at kick behind, but McKernan is moving.
moving f uh, further down as another key forward and as soon as the ball is gathered anywhere across the centre line McKernan just runs flat out straight down into that hole left by the North oh. Melbourne players. Danger here the Kangaroos lead by nice 12 free, points free kick. and a free kick and a rather soft free kick too going to Peter Bell. Just had his arm on his shoulder. So very very soft free kick might be just within range Bell not a big kicker. Oh, he's just Bell's yeah, exaggerated. Yeah sort of there but I mean, you don't get mm. shots at goal for soft decisions. How are the freeze, Billy? That's two. Eight to four in favour of North Melbourne, two apiece this quarter. So Bell comes in, Billy Hodges for Harris, Scarf and Pulse, and what's he done? He's pulled it to the left-hand side. Another point, so it's 14 scoring shots to six, six. and the margin's only 13 points in favour of North Melbourne. Yeah, that's what's keeping him in uh, at the moment, and uh, the, the movement into the Crows' forward line isn't allowing the forwards to move with any sort of confidence at all, and it's the pressure from the North Melbourne midfield. Benny Hart goes to Kane Johnson, Kane Johnson into cave and the centre half back has the football. They've got to get more across half forward well, as well. It's time to it's time to take a gamble on Sean Rennett centre half. Exactly, forward. and Marshy on. Marshy on. Yeah, and, exactly and right, Graham. Perhaps come off for a little while. Caven goes across, looks out on the outer side out there, sun in the oh, eyes. Oh, Jesus, oh, Tyson Edwards. Cool. They bound away, a loose football coming through as Mark Beckley. Oh, go straight through the back. Out there, a opportunity to Harvey up towards full foot. This is dangerous. Pike is there. Off hands it goes and through mm, yet again work, for Caven. another score. And uh, North Melbourne go to 5 10 40, Adelaide 4 2 26, and we've played 11 minutes into the second quarter. You just wonder how long that the uh, Crows can uh, keep uh, withstanding yeah. this pressure without yeah. making a move. And they really have to get uh, Ben Marsh or even uh, Stevens or Eccles on there. Matthew Robin really isn't uh, getting the ball there at centre half forward. We've got to get more there. Darren Jarman, the designated kicker. Robert Strop one bounced straight off his chest to McLeod again with a bit of magic. They need that, gets it across the rim. Here go the Crows up to Towards centre half forward, they need a Mark Rusciuto. Second attempt, couldn't quite take it. Spinning out there was Archer. Rough and tough, he attacked the ball. And a free kick goes to Glen Archer, who won the Norm Smith medal in 96. So Better Archer. Get more out of Vardy, two worlds. Straight Not across the enough. ground. You're right, Russell. Now it ends up with Stevens. He can have a bounce, and he does. In front of the Great Southern Stand. It's a big stand, that one. Holds 48,000 people. Three bounces to Stevens. Up towards centre half forward. Can anybody take a mark? Johnson got a fist to the footy. It ends up with Connell. Now to Hart. Hart very quickly with good vision. They need a good bounce. Smart came oh, through, but it's two on one. Harvey again short. Oh, they've got players everywhere. Shoal across to Blakey. Blakey 25 out. Should kick a goal, but he has it. He's missed from 20. And oh, North Melbourne, and they Pike, might rue this. And Pike has dropped uh, Sean Wren there uh, just off the ball. But North Melbourne really are just uh, poised to crack this game right open. The Foodland scoreboard 5 11 North Melbourne. Poor kicking Adelaide 4 2. Darren Jarman about to bring the ball back into play. I don't like what I'm seeing no, at the moment from Adelaide's no, point Marcus of view. Marcus Shudo's got to get down on the ball. He really Gee, does. Their, their kick ins have been atrocious. So is that one. Jarman back towards oh, a great, great mark. Great Sean Wren, that's a, a beautiful mark. An Aussie home loans mark of the day. Up centre half back this way, back onto his left leg. Watson perhaps the third option. Up towards centre oh, half forward, yeah. chipping in and taking the Marcus Pickett. But nothing across half forward. All that, no. Mind you, the kick in, the kick to the forward line then was ordinary as he waited on Pickett. Well, he went one way, stopped and came back, so the forwards had all run out of yes. position. Pickett now bangs it back towards centre half forward at the back. Good mark, Darren Jarman has. Uh, oh, oh, he's lost the football again. again. Goes to half. Harvey up towards full forward, Hart there, and Hart has taken the mark. He's he played is. a brilliant He game. has played sensationally, Benny Hart. Benny Hart takes the mark on the last line of defence. Adelaide's best player, no doubt, Benny Hart had a tremendous year. Now leans back, kicks it back towards the 50 metre defensive line. Up they go, no clear mark there. Bell's been very good. Tyson Edwards tries to wrap him up, ends up with Johnson. Adelaide under siege at the moment. The handball was good to Goodwin, who can have a bounce, and he does, and he runs away from Abraham. Three bounces to Bickley. Simon Goodwin. Bickley is it on the right boot up towards Rashido. Caught behind there. Couldn't take the mark. No. Good defensive work and it goes out of bounds. No, the forward line structure is just not working no, either. Centre no. half forward or full forward. No. And uh, you'd even be better to see Darren Jarman at full forward. But, well, or even just switch might, them around. Bring uh, David Pittman uh, out and uh, Matthew down to full forward. But something's got to be done across there. Pittman yeah. and McCartney. Adelaide really looking for a goal. Pittman kicked their last one. The and more, there's going to be a ball up on the 50. The more cynical could ask, where is our established full forward? Well, Longmire and Modra both missing the, the club record holders, both of them. McKernan flew high back towards the boundary line. Stevens again, he's busy player, very productive. Gave it off on that occasion to Simpson. 
and Simpson uh, runs the ball over the line and out of play. Danger for Adelaide. Brett Ellison coming onto the ground and uh, he always oh, kicks goals against Adelaide. At the moment he's going on to Shane Ellen, which is not a good matchup. Not often North Melbourne would kick 5-11. Archer from a standing start out towards, uh, on this occasion, McKernan, who gives it to Abraham. Back inside the 50, Caven read the ball beautifully. Took a mark in front of Carey. He's going to do His last five minutes have been good, Peter Kane Caven. Johnson's loose. Oh, come on, work. Peter. So Peter Caven, now they chip short. Stop-start footy here. They really need to get it moving. Connell takes the mark. Once again, stop-start. No sense of urgency at the moment. North Melbourne filling up the holes. They've got nothing at centre-half forward. The ball goes there. Robren plucked the ball out of the air. He was wrapped up by Martin, also Pickett. And Mickey Martin mm. absolutely screaming for holding the ball. He won't get it. We've been going 15 minutes second term, 5 AA football, thanks to Adelaide's Channel 7. I'm just wondering whether uh, um, De De Dennis Pagan has brought on Allison to try and get uh, Ben Hart to take him and Shane Ellen to go on to Shoal. Rusciuto with a chance, pulled up the football. Pittman gets it out towards Smart. He can't take it. Point one straight at him. Spills out to Mickey Martin. Wong's a kick. Back towards the half forward flank for the Crows. Blood is there. With him is Tyson Edwards, but the ball goes out of play. Nothing across half forward, the Crows at the moment. Outside the 50, the throw in. Still a chance, okay. North Melbourne goal. more physical too, around the ball too, Kent. Throw Far in. Far more physical. McKernan and Pittman. McKernan in front, Pittman over the back, gets it down. Body's being held there. Pickett is one, Grant and Tyson Edwards in a bounce down once more. Bounce down outside the 54. The Crows who barely need a goal at this stage, going towards the punt road end. Huge crowd here at the G. Trying to take the ball away. Vardy is there. They can't. And the umpire, Hayden Kennedy, says, I'll have a bounce down once again outside the 50. How's Peter Vardy going, Billy? Peter Vardy, one kick, one hand pass, no possessions this quarter. North Melbourne, 5 11, 41 Adelaide, 4 2, 26. A chance now for McLeod. Will the ball stay in play? No, it won't. It goes out of play. The throw in once again in front of the Great Southern Stand here at the MCG. Conditions absolutely magnificent. Billy, how many times inside 50 this quarter? For the. Kangaroos 13 for the Crows 4. Oh. Pippen and McKernan, the North Melbourne force it forward in the Archer direction. He's a good player in finals. Up towards half forward, Carey again. Ooh. Oh, Caven did well though. Pushed Damn. out of the contest as a free kick. No, it's gone no. out of play. Peter Caven, those last few minutes have been very good after Carey threatened to single handedly destroy the game for Adelaide. Boundary throwing again. Up goes Pittman, getting his hands to the ball too. Wrapped up by Simpson that occasion. And once again, the umpire says, give it to me. 17 minutes gone, second turn. Peter Cave has been more effective because North Melbourne are bringing the ball around the sides instead of their traditional straight down the middle corridor. Tyson Edwards has gone back onto the dangerous Ellison and Shane Allen coming up onto the wing by the looks of this. What moves can Malcolm Blight make? McKernan up against Pittman. Neither got it. Free kick to Pittman. You need a goal well, badly yeah. here. You just need a, a greater presence across half forward. Even yeah. though the ball's coming in rough, you need players who can get underneath it and command it. And our half forward isn't line, line is not doing that at the moment. Well, the good thing for Adelaide, so many players can improve. They've had a lot down so far. David Pittman, not a bad kick up towards centre half forward, setting himself there. Well, Carey was back there for North Melbourne. The bouncing ball again, McLeod, dangerous McLeod. Try to find a teammate on that occasion. It comes out towards Robin, bundled off the footy. Shannon Grant, though, clever tap. North Melbourne under all sorts of pressure. Archer oh, spun cool. the ball out beautifully to Abraham. When he's 55 out, kicks to the vacant goals are coming back. No, it's not. Another point to North Melbourne. Would you believe the scores? 5 12 42. Adelaide are 4 2 26. And the margin only 16 points. Well, the game the could, score yeah, that's, all that's, holding, that's all that's holding them uh, in there is North Melbourne's uh, poor conversion in front of goals. And uh, they, uh, they're not difficult goals that they're missing. But good work by Archer there. Shrugged the tackle off. And uh, Abraham was set up uh, there for a, a reasonably simple goal for him. But uh, dragged it to the left. Rashudo with the kick in. Comes back towards the centre of the ground. Looks out there for Smart, smart, oh, oh great mark. Uh, has it been oh, fake? Yes, yeah. it has. That was a terrific uh, uh, mark by uh, Nigel Smart. Aussie home loans contender for mark oh. of the day. Now yeah, they're slow, slow to get the ball back. You hurt Mc McKernan in, yeah. aren't you? Yeah, but slow to get the ball back, and it's allowed North Melbourne to get Pippen. all their players down. Pippen created space on the uh, member side wing. He goes towards centre half, fought off hands, back towards uh, Johnson. Johnson ought to tap the oh, as far as Bell. Bell the handball, top hand. 
a chance now. Once again, coming through was Abraham. Over towards uh, King. King has the football. Run down, gets the handball away. Back towards Archer. Archer's going to be net, but gets the kick in time. They're strong and powerful. Up high went smart again. Off hands, hard taps the football. Somehow back towards Cave, and their defence has been under an enormous <laughs> amount of <laughs> pressure. Are they playing well or what? Oh, right, yeah, KG. Yeah. Spot on. And yeah. Cave and kicks towards the 50, the 50 metre defensive line. Throwing in front of the members here at the MCG. They, they can't continue to do it. The no. forward line has to contribute. Otherwise, this game's going to crack right open. North, and, and the midfield too, Graham, because they just can't withstand this pressure for much longer. North by 16 points. Pittman's been okay in the ruck. They can't get it clear. It's right on the 50, right half forward now, flank. Shoals come off. Capuano's come on. I'd imagine McKernan is going to go forward. So what will Malcolm Blight do here? Well, late now with the skipper Bickley. He's played pretty well, put his body on the line as he always does. Brings the grandstand side. Up went Rubber and Mickey Martin. They read the ball better. Works it back towards Allison. Tried to mark the ball in his chest, couldn't do so. Pittman appeals for the free kick. Allison got it across to Grant. In fact, Harvey back to Archer. Up towards full forward. Smart's been good. So too Pike. Picked up by Carey. Missed. And he has missed from two metres in. In fact, he's hit the post. Hit the post yeah. A couple of metres out. And Wayne, how many points to Wayne Carey? One goal, three for Wayne Carey. Well, he's threatened, as I said before, to tear the game apart. It's 5-13 to 4-2. 20 minutes gone, yeah. second term. Andrew Eccles has come on. Peter Vardy uh, off the ground. So they kick in. Crow's under an enormous yeah, yeah. amount of pressure. He's going to go short. The oh. kick hasn't found the target, but it'll come off hand. Connell was the player he's looking for, and it uh, throw will take place. Now, I can't work out why we've changed our kicking strategy. Both Rashudo and Jarman are doing the kick-ins when Ben Hart's done it all year. Mm. Throw in inside the 50 for North Melbourne. Pippen at the back gets the ball down, trying to work it through the pack. Heavy traffic there. Goes to Eleanor. Shocking handball. Puts Connell under pressure. Picked up by Kerry Smothered. Back towards half forward. It goes Allison. Off hands to Bell. Bell around his body. And I think he may have kicked yeah, a much needed goal, Andy. That's I think he's tipped the goal. The he game. has. Goal to North Melbourne. They go to 6 13 49. That late 4 2 26 on the Foodland scoreboard. A margin now of 23 points and. Well, warning times now. Russell, I've got to say, North Melbourne hitting the packs, the loose oh. ball, so much harder than Adelaide at the moment. Yeah, Simon Goodwin really did a fantastic smother there, but uh, when Peter Bell came back off the pack and just hit the, the front of the pack so hard, as they always do, and then just laid the ball across his right boot, back over his left shoulder uh, for a, a good goal. But yes, North Melbourne just doing exactly what they've done all year. That's hard, aggressive uh, footy, one up, the rest down crumbing, and they hit the body and they hit the ball harder than any other side in the competition. Well, the challenge has been put down. Can Adelaide answer the challenge? Capuano, it beat McLeod, coming through as Johnson. Gee, the heavy body work. He used to be said he's besieged on that occasion by three players. And their tackling is ferocious at the moment. They can sense something, North Melbourne. Yep. They haven't quite got it on the scoreboard. It's 49-26, uh, 23-point margin, 8 points a margin at 8 quarter time. Uh, Glenn Archer has been an important player too in the last couple of minutes with three or four telling uh, telling disposals. The ball Steve. comes down towards Simpson. Sorry, Graham. Up towards half forward. Carey again. Caven's done okay. But to McKernan. Got it down towards a teammate who was wrapped up beautifully. Caven's worked extremely hard. Off the ground goes Smart. He was hit high. It's got to be yes, a free kick. head high. And that would have hurt too. Was it Pike that hit him? Or King? Yeah, one of the two. Doesn't matter. It's still... he, Nigel Smart often doesn't stay down, but he got that right uh, on King. the noggin. King has cleaned him up. I think he's not too the, good either. The neck it was, it was just hit with his head down. Um, Mark Stevens has come on for Adelaide too as uh, this drama's unfolding in front of us. How, how's Archer fair to Billy? Nine kicks, eight mm. possessions in this second quarter, boys. Yeah. Spot on there by uh, Cornsey and Russell. Uh, Glenn Archer playing a significant part in the game, but Nigel Smart's been good, Ben Hart's been good, Caven's tightened up. But they are under enormous pressure. Smart, oh, no, he's kicked the ball. You won't believe it. He's kicked the ball out in the full. You couldn't do that if you tried. It almost went sideways. And a free kick will go to pick it. Uh, McKernan's in the forward pocket for North Melbourne. Shane Allen is on him. That's, oh. that's the worst mismatch you'll ever see. Yeah. Pittman has to go back on him. I sure think Dennis, Dennis Pagan well they're getting, on top they're getting of the They're getting Rennie up the ground now to try and uh, put the tall player Pittman uh, onto McKernan. So Pickett from 70 metres works it up towards the, the head of the square again. Up they go, Carey. Couldn't quite bring it down. Smart bundled off the footy. Carey's tucked in the right full forward pocket. He tried to centre it, but only as far as Ellen. Now they're starting to run. Bickley works out towards Johnson, and Johnson takes a mark at half back. Johnson Hart. has Ben Hart loose. Goes towards centre wing. Sits under the football. Waits for takes the grab. Plays on quickly now. Swing 
on to the right boot. Back towards Harthor. Mm. This is where we're breaking down. Stevens can't take the mark. Out wide was McLeod. But the league too good, too strong as we see Blakey come away. Kicks it back towards McCartney. Tackled. Handball's back towards Blakey. Smart coming off. Blake, Blakey now on the half-back flank. Kicks back towards centre wing. Cop that last knock. Johnson up high. The spoiler ball to ground. Chance for Benny Hart. But a terrific game, Benny Hart. Kicks it back towards Harford. Someone up forward. Got to put up your hand, Jarman. Also almost the mark. Chance for McLeod. Good hands. Jarman open goal. Through. Kick a goal, Sonny Hasley's missed. Right. By a long way. Nigel Smart can cuss down here, and, I reckon. And uh, on the uh, food lounge score for Adelaide, 4-3-27. North Melbourne, 6 13 49. Yeah, Nigel Smart has come off, obviously, uh, slightly concussed there with his last couple of attacks. Took a heavy knock from David King uh, around the head and, uh, and neck area. Kicked the ball out of bounds and has just been taken off, replaced by Peter Vardy. Shannon Grant off to uh, Freeborn on the ball with Stevens uh, deep in defence for North Melbourne. At the moment, they've got the answers. Abraham couldn't take it. Now a chance for Adelaide through Johnson. 65 out from oh. goal. Kicks towards a vacant square. Vacant, except for uh, Simpson this occasion. And he takes a mark in the last line. So Simpson now pushes straight across the ground to Stevens. Anthony Stevens, he's had a bit of the footy too. We'll check mm. that shortly. Up towards Martin, and Martin marks out of side centre wing. A Anthony Stevens, nine kicks, three hand passes, five marks, eight possessions in the quarter. Stats thanks to Harris Scarf and Pulse as the ball's worked up towards half forward. Free kick not played there. Adelaide just trying to mount some sort of challenge. It ends up with Edwards. Edwards from a standing start. Out comes Robin. That's better, Matty Robin. He breaks a tackle. 65 out from goal. The good kick had to be good. He's got Marty. Stevens on his own. No, he's got to go back and oh, Now he goes. Oh, Ah, and he's made the wrong choice because King's come in. So Peter Vardy, he's had a shocker. Maybe the foot's not right. They, now North Melbourne a chance. It comes out towards centre wing. Freeborn's there. So too is Ellen. Ellen and Freeborn. Ellen tries desperately to keep his body in front of the footy. But uh, he might have kicked it out of the fall. In fact, he has. It out. Well, nothing going right now for Adelaide, but North Melbourne still haven't uh, shut the, uh, the game down on the scoreboard. The ball with Freeborn. Who kicked three goals in that purple patch in 96. Kerry caught behind. From the side went Hart. Scooped up now towards Pike. Smart off the ground. That was P Pike's opponent. A chance on this occasion. Capuano, who doesn't kick many goals. And he has it on this occasion. Point to North Melbourne. 6-14 is their tally. Adelaide 4-3, the Foodland scoreboard. Gee, we're get, get, not getting a lot out of Brett James. Uh, Mark Rusciuto's now got on the ball, but not uh, getting enough uh, touches there. Uh, and Andrew McLeod has just dropped out a little bit out of the game. Well, so we're just getting not, not a lot off uh, of our what running. What was Vardy thinking, Graham? Oh, he, saw, he saw James Tyson uh, by himself and he was trying to get the ball to him. The kick by Rusciuto finds a James Tyson. Has the football, kicks it long back towards half forward. Robert in front, can't take the grab at the back. Ja Jarman also a chance now for Scott. Scott with the football back towards oh, centre. Oh, it's all sure. North Melbourne in the middle of the way. They go through Stevens. The uh, handball came from Freeborn. Oh, okay, McKernan. Um, and McKernan marks about 25 metres from goal directly in front. The signs aren't good, KG. Oh, the signs no. are not good at all. Not good at all. Can't get anything across half forward. When we get there, we mess it up. Mm. 27 and a half minutes in, McKernan now, directly in front, North Melbourne 6 14, 50 Adelaide 4-3-27, margin of 23 points, this could blow it out to 29 if he can kick this. You wonder how the Crows are so close when you're actually here watching the game and uh, just the total ascendancy of, uh, of North Melbourne, just uh, you wonder how they're so close. McKernan towards the scoreboard end, should not miss him here, 25 metres directly in front, kicks and the goal umpire comes to his left. I think he may have missed it. Yeah. As he has. I oh. can't believe it. Oh, North Melbourne on. strike me, Pete. North Melbourne 6 15 51 at late 4 3 27. Seven scoring shots to 21 on the Foodland scoreboard. All the Crows have to do is just lift their heads up a bit across half forward. Their midfield work a little bit harder because North Melbourne are, are kicking themselves uh, out of this game. McLeod now gives it off to Cave. Now they're starting to run. They need a goal against the tide here, Adelaide. They work it up towards oh. Stevens. He's just come on the ground. McCartney went through hard. He here won't get a free kick. Eccles just on oh, the ground. Oh, he almost kicked oh, the ground. Oh, almost had an airy. Oh. It ends up with Mickey Martin, the full back. He couldn't believe his luck. It now goes back out to the outer side. Freeborn's there. Can get it over to Stevens. Oh. Here go North Melbourne yeah, again. Away, but Adelaide gave him the footy. So Stevens up towards Bell. Bell's got a panic to work with. He's got time and space. Peter Bell kicks as a siren goes. And thankfully for Adelaide, it's put him out of their misery to half time. And luckily they're only down by 24 points in the long break. Well, that's lucky. But Andrew Eccles, what on earth were you thinking? Running into an open goal. He left tries foot. a left foot check side kick. The most ridiculously lairizing kick you could ever do on a grand final. 
and uh, missed the goals completely from 25 metres. Adelaide are hanging in, but North Melbourne, G 6.15 are giving them every opportunity. This will not be a happy Crows camp at half time, but they've got only one alternative. They can get their heads up, they can take advantage of the fact North Melbourne haven't buried them, and they can play a, a half of a, a football which they'll play for their lives if they can get their structure right. Malcolm Blight and John Reid walking off uh, past our commentary box. So at half time in the 1998 AFL Grand Final, North Melbourne 6-15, 51, Adelaide 4-3, 27, a margin of 24 points on the Foodland scoreboard. This is 5AA footy.